Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Create Above and Beyond. Uh, this is currently episode 8, I'm glad you could join us today. Uh, don't forget, if you're new here, to hit the subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so that you are notified when new episodes or new videos come out on this channel. Um, also, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, it really helps the channel out, especially the video, so that it gets a little bit more uh, viewership and it helps out uh, further in um, creating like production value and whatnot. So the more views, the better. Uh, would really, really appreciate the support. Um, all right, so that being said, I have been working on a few things. Um, we are running a little low on clay, and that's why we're having a little bit of andesite issue here. And I could probably throw some andesite in here if needs to, the alloy, I should say. Um, but we do have a bunch of kinetic mechanism. Um, so in this episode, I wanna, we're gonna be exploring, um, uh, we completed uh, chapter two last episode. And this episode, we're gonna start into the second episode, or the second chapter. So the chicken and the egg problem remains in order to automate precision mechanisms for brass equipment more conveniently. More, uh, having more brass equipment would be really nice. After hitting the check mark above, the second chapter of the factory guide will begin uh, become accessible from the quest sidebar. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have um, alluring expedience. So we have this chapter. So this is, um, wow, there's quite a bit here. Um, I'm assuming we're gonna be creating a lot more <laughs> um, contraptions for sure. Oh, we already ran out of, we already ran out here. Um, we are making more, uh, just before we get any further, um, into chapter two, I did create two sediments, uh, bases here and they are working slowly. Um, I was kind of thinking that maybe I would set up a couple more and, um, produce a little bit faster, but I'm not sure exactly what the best way of doing this is with, especially with the, this belt running through, um, at some point in time, might have to revamp this a little bit, maybe shorten this, um, make it a little bit more compact. Maybe we'll see. Um, we'll see how things go. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's what's currently issue. The issue right now is just the getting the algae. I think El the algae, whatever this is. But it, it sounds like it's rocking and rolling. This is producing it slowly. And then, uh, yep, we got a little batch going here. So that's good. And this goes in. Um, I did figure out how to sort. Um, we'll get into chapter two. Uh, once we unlock um, the brass mechanisms, we can then create the brass filters. Uh, or not the filters. <laughs> what am I saying here? Um, funnels. So the brass funnels allows us to actually add filters to them. So we can export and import specific items. This also will export more than one. It can actually uh, export a stack at a time. So this is where we're gonna get our andesite fully automated once we have that. So we just pull out just the andesite out of say here, and then the rest of the stuff I'm thinking, maybe just have lava sitting there and just export it out to a lava. <laughs> just as like kind of like a garbage can. Um, I don't know if the other stuff is going to be valuable at all. So I think, I mean, I can go mine cobble if I need to. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I've been mainly eating potatoes as well. I switched over from bread because it's just so much easier and quicker. I can produce so much more. Um, and at some point in time, I will create something to harvest. Um, just like we do over here with the harvester. Uh, for our kelp, we'll just be harvesting um, potatoes or something along that lines. Make it a little bit quicker, a little bit more streamlined. Um, okay. That being said, I do wonder. Ah, eh, these are working. I'm just wondering if, if I only had one of these, like if I turn this off or didn't have this, would this just hit twice, maybe? Instead of having two of them, I'm kind of curious. Let's um, let's do some science here. No, 
Nope. Nope. Let's fix this. Uh, why are you doing it that way? What, what, what are you doing now? Oh, geez. Now I got this all screwed up. There we go. Oops. <laughs> now we got a bunch of incomplete things here. Um, I think we can just stick them in here. We have room. We don't have room for all of them. Shoot. Here, let's just take some of these out. Okay, that'll work. And then we can just shove these actually in there. And they'll just zip through and go into here when it's over. It's ready. Cool. Um, yep, so that doesn't work. So we do need some andesite thrown in there for the filter. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Once that's filled back up, we'll we'll be good to go. I thought maybe it would stamp twice on there. It doesn't. So, learning experience. Um... Okay, what do we do now? Let's look at starting chapter two. The automation target this time is electron tube. Uh, placing them onto a kinetic mechanism will send you to the next tier. Placing them onto the kinetic mechanism will send you to the next tier, okay. The alloy mixer, not part of the mechanism chain yet. Very important for crafting relevant machines. Uh, using melters, fluid pipes, and mechanical mixers, you can create a couple of different metal alloys. Brass is one of them. Pumping the molten alloy into a casting table or basin will solidify it using or into a usable ingot for less hassle. Uh, for less hassle with manual effort. It is recommended to set up an ingot to ingot semi automatic for creating alloy using the setup above. What? <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> so, electron tube. Oh, we should sleep. Um, I did sit here and just let this. Uh, I, I, I just AFK'd for a second, or not a second, for a little bit. And I came back and I was dead. <laughs> a couple zombies came and just mugged me. So let's take a look at this electron tube. So we need a spout. Okay, so we are gonna have to do the sealed mechanisms with a copper sheet. We need copper ingot. How do we get copper? Copper dust. Do I have copper, maybe? Let's see if I have any copper up here. No. Let's go down here and see if I have any copper. I don't think... Maybe I have run into copper. I just didn't do anything with it yet. Oh, yeah. Got a little bit of copper. Oh, I have some. Not a whole lot. Oh, I do have some copper ingots. Oh, nice. All right, well, at some point in time, I'm going to have to get back to mining. So we are going to have to use these guys and produce some of those, uh, what were they called again? What was it? Uh, electron tubes. Yeah, so I need a spout. Copper. Sealed uh, mechanisms. Oh, wait. Hold on. We got this. We don't need to... We don't have to... No, we don't have to do anything. Um, you, you know what? We don't have any rubber, though. So we should... Maybe we should just set up a small little contraption down here. Now, how do we make pipes? Any kind of pipes. So, we need copper machine, which is this stuff here, which is cured rubber. Um, to make cured rubber again, we need rubber, which is 
just the resin through a compactor. Okay. So maybe we should set up a little machine down here. Um, in this place here. Oh, God. Oh, no. What in the world? Um, I've already had to attack these guys once before. Oh, good. They shot each other for... <laughs> <laughs> for once. Um, I've been attacked once before. My god, that scared the crap out of me. They came out of nowhere. Um, Alright, what was I doing now? I'm lost. Oh, yes. I was going to set up a compactor up here. So let's go grab... I think I have a basin up here, and I do have a compactor or crusher. Oh, we got some more friends. Let's go take care of these guys real quick. Uh -huh. You're hitting your buddy. Okay, hopefully that's it. So I have one there. Do I have one in here? I mean, I can make one. Not, not a problem. I was just thinking if I had one. No, I don't have one, so... Let's grab some of these things, some casings. Um, I need a block of iron, right? There we go. Uh, then let's go ahead and actually convert you into... I think some funnels. And let's grab some shafts. We need basically everything else. That's oh, we already have a bucket. Um, we don't have enough iron to create a basin. Or does the basin? Let's see here. Is that andesite? That's andesite. We can do that. Oops. Okay, we got enough what we need. Now we just gotta figure out how we can um, basically set this up so that we can automate it. And I think I'm just gonna go off of this right here and we'll just pipe that over here. Or I'm wondering if it really needs a tree. It probably doesn't need a full tree, which is probably a piece of, uh, piece of wood there. Um, we'll find out here shortly. Let's put in a... Why not have... What do I do with the... My... My gearbox. No, I got a bunch of them. Mm. Do I need to make some? Oh, I only have three? Three might be enough. Uh, let's see here. Gearbox. Do something like that. And I'm thinking I think we'll just go off of here. And we'll just turn this around. Perfect. Whoa. That's what I wanted to click. <laughs> oh, crap. There we go. Perfect. It's a little high, but... Uh, yeah, actually, let's... um, Let's move it down. It's just going to be a pain in the butt to have to... make this work. At some point in time, I'm going to have to go shut those guys up. Because they are quite loud and annoying. There's a, there's a cave you're not aware, like, right in here. Um, 
Don't you connect up? Wait, hold on. What's going on here? Um, we want a vertical connection here. Do I not have a vertical? Yeah, vertical gearbox. Put it there. Oh, and then I need another vertical. What am I thinking here? There we go. And it's going the right direction. All right. Bingo. We are good to go. We're golden. Now we just need to set up the basin and the mixer. That goes there. Grab the... Or, I'm sorry, not the mixer, the press. So that will go there. Now, can I spin you? I, for some reason, I can't get you... There we go. Perfect. Something like that. Um, how are we going to connect you up, though? Go like that. That's super ugly. Um, actually, let's do something like this. We'll place it on this side, because we're going to have to pipe it in there anyways. The, uh... A fluid, so we can just come in from the back side there. So we'll place that there. And then we'll just do that with if I can find it. Press. Like that. And then spin this. Spin you around. Like so. And then we'll hook you up. Oh, one more. Um, there we go. Cool. So that's going to be working just fine as long as I have resin, and we can get some resin rocking and rolling here. But then we need to get the resin into um, a bulk blaster, so we need lava and some fan, or a fan. And I think the fan, I, I think I'm just going to go with one fan. I don't think I have one. Let's see here. Fan... We'll just mark that up there. Uh, it's four iron sheets. And I think... I hope I have iron up there. Hope so. I'm gonna have to sleep. Let's just check for iron real quick. Uh, no iron in there. Oh, you know what? I do, I do know where I got iron. Right in here. Oh, I got a bunch of gold, too, so... That's good to know. Um, let's throw our four... iron on here right away, and then we'll go ahead and sleep. Alright, so I do got... I have the fan made. So we got that. Uh, we are gonna need... Let's see, what else am I gonna need? I need some... trap doors. Do I have... I got some trap doors here. Seven. I think seven should be enough. We got the fan. Let's get rid of the ominous banner. We don't need that. Actually, no. Let's do something here. We can turn in... The market? No, we can turn it in here. There we go. Sweet. Awesome. So we um, removed any kind of... Like, so they, they are, like, attacking us or whatever. That curse. And then... Uh, what else do we get there? I think we got some silver too, right? Yeah, 10 silver. So we can start buying from the market if need be. And then I think what we'll do is we'll set this. If I can get this fan to go in the right direction. <laughs> um, we'll set it there. I'm not sure. Nope. That is going to be a problem. All right, we can't set that quite there. We could probably go somewhere like that. No, I, I'm gonna have to learn how to get this a flip around right. Like, all right, that's that's the right direction now. <laughs> um, 
All right, so we got to make sure that this is going to be pushing the right direction. So I'm thinking what we'll do is put a gearbox and then patch this up. So it is blowing. Perfect. And now we just need to set up, I think, just three. Um, where's my trapdoors? And I think I'm going to come from the top. Perfect. That's going to work perfect. And then the last one will go here. And so we can get rid of these guys. Nice. Nice. Now we just need the lava. Um, I'm not sure... Oh, I'm going to have to run all the way down here. Let me go grab some lava and I'll be back. Okay, I got the lava in there. And it's blowing the correct direction. And I also have an andesite tunnel with... Not that... Uh, with a chest. So now we just got to get things pumped into here. Um, that is blowing the right direction. Yeah, perfect. Now, the question is, how do I get things pumped in? Now, I can manually come over here and do this. And then that should pop out. Let's make sure that this gets changed. Nope. Um, oh, right at the last second. <laughs> So it will work. Um, sweet. All right, so we are creating rubber. We just need to figure out how we're going to get this over into here. Um, and that's going to be something with pipes, right? Now, there's a couple different there's smart pipes. Let's learn about smart pipes. They can help control the flow of the fluid. Okay, so we're going to need... So, when placing further down the pipe, the network smart pipes will let you... Okay, so smart pipes are not for... Okay, so they're going to be for um, basically like a sorting liquid, like where to go. And then we have fluid pipes, but... Let's take a look at fluid pipes, because there was something to move them, and I need to know what that is. Because I don't think this will move by itself, right? So you can right-click to see through. So window segments. Now, what is this? Mechanical pump. So we need a mechanical pump. Okay, what is a... Where's the pump? Okay, here we go. Let's add that to the list. Let's go back to pipe, because I think we're just going to need a standard pipe for right now. Um, and what are these going to be? Oh, just a fluid pipe. Okay, so copper sheets and copper ingots. So let's go ahead and grab some copper. And the other thing, too, is I'm going to empty one of these up. Um, I'm going to just pause the video so that... This doesn't take up a whole lot of time, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these arboreal extractors once I have it emptied, and we're going to place um, we're going to place it basically next to this so that we're not piping it very far. And I'm kind of curious if we just put a a, a log next to it, and just have it go in. Um, we don't need a ton of this. I think just this little section here will be plenty good. We could speed this up too. A little. Right. I might just go and try to speed this up as well so this is, goes just a tad bit faster. Um, so I'm going to pause the video and get things set up and then we will get at it. Alright, so I've got this going a little bit faster. I don't have the belt going fast. The belt is going very slow. Um, the original speed took me a little bit of figuring out, but the... Um, the press is going a lot faster as well as the fan and you can see here I didn't know this if I open this trap door at the end look how far, how much further it blows it goes a lot further so I'm wondering if having two fans up there is really necessary probably not 
Um, but this actually produces really quick, so let's go throw this in manually here. I mean, that is just really pumping it out there. So when we have enough fluid... Well, I mean, I don't think we'll have enough that will constantly stay clicking at that rate, but... Um, yeah, at least we have this finished. We just need to figure out... Let's let's get some wood. Let's grab, like, a log. I want to set the log down and see if we can get some sap from it. I think we have some oak in here. No, we have some birch. That'll be fine. So, if I, for instance, go... Uh, I'll have it so close. Let's just... Let's actually do it... Let's just do it right there. We could probably pull out of the top of this. And we set this here. Now, it looks like it has to be next to a tree. Like, almost has to have some leaves and another log on top for it to function. So what if we were just to go and cut some leaves and place the leaves there, right? Like make our own little tree? I don't know if that's going to work or not. Doesn't look... Does it light up when it's... It's green. Yeah, it actually changes color when it's actually working. So do we have some shears here? Yes. I'm thinking we make our own little tree here, if we can. Um, we need to find a birch tree. Birch? Where did I find birch? Well, I guess I do. I, eh, maybe I don't need a birch tree. I think it just needs three leaves. Oh, here. Yeah, we're here. This will be fine. Oh, we got six. Maybe one would be enough. Let's see here. Uh, nope. That's not enough. Nope. 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 Dang it. Um, maybe it actually needs to be a tree. I'm thinking that's going to be confirmed. Okay. <laughs> It's worth a shot, right? Um, I know that, like, some other mod packs, you know, you can just kind of cheese it a little bit, but apparently not this one. Okay, so we'll leave these here. Yeah, because that seems like it it lights up and it's got yellow on the top now. Uh, we'll need to bring some piping from there over. So we need to make some pipe, and that's pretty simple to do. Um, oh, we... Actually, you need to come down here. And we can make it down here. What am I thinking here? We need our rubber. Let me throw this stuff in there. Let me just clean out my inventory just a little bit. I got a clay block. So why don't you just give me a second here? Let me clean this out and I'll be right back. All right, I cleaned it out enough. Um, now, to create the pipes, we just need copper sheets and a copper ingot. Oh, that actually creates eight of them. That's really nice. So we don't need a ton of copper to do this. Now, we do need a pump, which is just a cogwheel and a pipe. And that's really all we need. We do need to run it, so... I'm wondering if the pump can be any location, as long as it's being... Um, as long as it's pumping, right? Oh, maybe not. Oh, it doesn't need... It just needs a pump. Okay. Sweet. That makes life a lot easier. Um, how does this... Okay, they connect just like so. Easy peasy. Let's go create a couple more. There we go. That should be plenty for what we need. I'm actually thinking of... Oh, we can pipe all three of them, these together. Get rid of that. Um, I'm thinking of maybe... Oh, you know what? Let's do this instead.
uh, bringing this up and over so I don't have to... I can run underneath it. So something like... A little too high. Something like this. Am I going to have enough? Yes, I am. I can get rid of that. Now the thing would be to get this hooked up. Now, is that going to be easy enough? Can I just throw like a cog right here? Oh, baby, that works so well. Okay, uh, it's going the wrong direction, though. There we go. Nice, and so we can actually put windows on here. So let's put a window there. Just like maybe every other, so we have an idea of where the fluid's coming from. It's not moving. Are we completely empty out of these, by chance? Nope, this one's got resin. So... Hmm... That's interesting. So I don't... Don't know. It's definitely not going down. I wonder if the pump has to be at the origin. Let's look this up. Pump. No. Doesn't look like it. When power the uh, the arrow indicates the direction, so it's pulling and then pushing. Okay. So you can reverse it with the with the wrench, which is fine. Maybe it's just not enough speed to pull it. Interesting. Uh, maybe... Maybe this doesn't hook up like this. And that's why it's not flowing? I kind of assumed you could do this. It would kind of suck otherwise. see here that does not look right maybe I can't have this directly going in there maybe I have to just have a regular pipe we'll have to play with it all right I discovered the issue um apparently the pumps only have a range a certain range so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the tree <laughs> um I'm hoping we can plant a tree nearby let's see here and then I'm just gonna bone meal it Let's see here. If we have, say, the arboreal uh, extractors, where do I have one? I have one somewhere here. No, I don't. I have them all over here. Never mind. Uh, let's just say that we have a boreal extractor there, there, and there. Let's put a tree there, and then we'll bone meal this. There we go. Perfect. Sweet. Uh, and that's actually a perfect size too. Now we're gonna lose all our sap or. Whatever we have in here, uh, that's okay. Uh, we'll we'll get more. We have plenty of stiff creating already, so we can actually make a fourth one and put a fourth one here as well. Does that complete a quest? Oops, for us. Uh, oh, we need four of them, so we only have three created right now. All right. We'll create a fourth one to get that completed, and we'll place it on the other side. But, for the time being, I do want to get this to work. Um, so let's turn that so that we see what's going on. Now, if I hook this up to there... There we go. Aha! It's working! Look at that. It's going. It was just that the pump is way too far away. So there's 50 millibuckets in there. Nice. All right, let's go create another arboreal extractor. 
Let's see here. Okay, so we need a bucket and an andesite machine. I don't think I have an andesite machine on me. Can I... I don't have enough to make it either. So I'm going to have to go make an andesite machine. And yeah, that will work. Sweet. All right, we've got our... I think we have... Yeah, andesite machines in our bucket, so... I did go ahead and create another one. So we can place that there, and we can get this one hooked up as well. So there we go. We got four, four of these guys hooked up. We could make some fertilizer, but I think I'm just going to forego that for the time being. Um, I don't know what I'm looking in there for. But yeah, look at that. We got it. We got it. We got this automated. Sweet. Um, so we learned about a little bit of, about... Uh, the stuff here uh, and we can go ahead and craft uh, we do have the cured rubber so we could go ahead and craft this uh, sealed mechanism uh, oh, I don't have any kinetic on me oh, I used them all up I thought I grabbed a, a, a bunch of them enough that I was gonna have an issue so let me run up here and get it and we do need to look into some kind of bag. I know that there's some kind of bag in the pack that we can utilize. Um, but we're going to need something because we are running out of space. Um, okay, let's put away some... Uh, I need... No, actually, I don't need that. Uh, let's put these away for the time being. Actually, I kind of put the wrong stuff away in here. We'll leave this stuff in here. That and that and that. Cool. Grab some of these. And what was it? Just the just the rubber then. Shazam. Look at that. 32 of them. Uh, so is there a quest to complete? Uh, we technically already completed this. Oh, we already have... Why is this not saying we have four? Um, okay, we already complete the rubber. Oh, really? You're going to have me... You're going to have me do this? <laughs> Um, and this is only going to say 50%, isn't it? Or 87. Ugh. I'm not making another one. I think if I could pick one of these up, maybe. Oh, we got a trader here. Oh. We have a trader here. <laughs> Don't know where he's at. Oh, buddy. Hi, buddy. Um. Yeah, I think it's probably going to have me create another one. I don't know why. Um, but go back to here. Or no, I guess it is there. Shoot. Why don't you let me... I don't want to create another one because it's going to use up my iron. Do I have any more iron in here? No. And I do have a bucket. I could make another bucket. Let me, let me go ahead and do that so we can get moving forward with this. Um, I'll be right back. Well, for some reason, it does not want me to complete it. Um, maybe I have to have four in my inventory at one time. Go we'll try that. And maybe that's the issue. I only had three ever in my inventory. There we go. That's what it was. Um, that doesn't work, apparently. Shoot. I was kind of thinking, well, I'll just... I'll make one, and it doesn't really matter. Okay, well, that'll be safe for another time. Maybe we'll have another tree, or we'll need to produce a lot more of them. So let's just shove that in there. Do we have just a regular... I don't see one. So I need to watch for a regular rubber to come out of here. 
Um, so I'm going to do that so I can get this finished up, this quest line. So just, <laughs> I'll be right back when I've got that. All right, we completed that. Yay. And then I can throw this actually back on here if I can. Uh, let's see here. Um, chuck it. Oh, missed. <laughs> Uh, we'll just leave it out of here for right now. And then if I have rubber... That can complete. And then, yep, that completed that. And then we've got this all sealed up, completed. Now we can create our copper machines. So congratulations, you now have a good supply of sealed me mechanisms. For future self, we'll thank you. All right, so I just need to make a copper machine. And to make a copper machine... Copper machine... I think we need copper casing surrounded by stuff and things. So we need wood with copper. And I think we have all our wood up there. Do I have all my rubber? I do. Okay. Let's move on then. Okay. We got some wood up here. I, th I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. And where's our copper? Here's our copper. Doesn't look like we have any wood, so we're going to have to get some wood. Yeah. We got planks and sand. Oh, we do have some wood. Never mind. We have birch log. We've got birch log. Um, we already have some of those, but we need these now. Copper casings. So let's create a few of these. I don't know. That, that good enough? I don't want to use all of them up. And then these guys go around the outside. So we can only make four of these, which is fine. There we go. Congratulations. We done it. We done did it. Uh, we get 16, some copper. Sweet. Only two copper? Really? That kind of sucks. So uh, we're done with one. Awesome. Now we can completely go on to two. Now, let's see what we can make with these copper, um, copper machines. So, all right, so we can make a magnetic dynamo. So we can start making power? Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, we can do power. Um, that's kind of cool. Um, harden integral components. A spout. Copper back tank. A wearable tank for carrying pressurized air. When worn, provides pressurized air to equipment that require it. When placed, powered by kinetics, collects pressurized air at the rate dependent on the rotational speed. What? No way. Um, item drain, and then also um, aqueous accumulator. Okay, so aqueous accumulator is going to be a water computer. Uh, water. Um, item drain is going to be for dumping whatever we want into our kind of our system manually. This is really cool. We don't have any air powered tools at the time, but uh, we'll have to look into that. Um, and we're going to have to figure out how we can charge it too. It says wind placed, powered by kinetics. So maybe we can power it by something. Maybe we'll create one of these. Let's uh, let's add that to the list. Um, we do need a spout at some point in time, and then dyn I don't know if we really need power right now. I don't know of anything that runs off of power. And I don't think we can make, we don't have enough to make a copper, um, copper block. Let's go ahead and put this stuff away for the time being. Just clean up things a little bit. Cool. 
Because what I'm thinking of doing is, in between episodes, I'm going to have to go mining. And I, I think the spout... So this is going to be... Putting out fluid. Well, I really don't know what we need that for right now, actually. Um, let's take a look at our quest. So, alloy mixing, or we have a couple things that were open to us. Iron for days. Okay. Uh, known in the business as iron generator, you will now uh, be creating metal from cobblestone. Start some drills hooked up to regenerate cobblestone blocks. <clears throat> okay, so how is this? Wash the gravel with an um, encased fan. Leaves you with iron nuggets. Oh my goodness. We're going to definitely need to do that in the next episode. <laughs> so we have iron. Um, Skystone infant, uh, Infinity Mill? Uh, you can just keep your uh, keep on pulverizing it. Skystone blocks never seem to lose mass in the process. What in the world we live in? What a world we live in. Find a skystone block at Meteor Crash Site. If you haven't encountered any, try looking uh, for one using the meteorite compass. Okay, so this basically gives us unlimited skystone dust, right? Um, water supply... Uh, the contraptions of Chapter 2 require a healthy supply of water. The easiest way to pull water from any source directly using uh, mechanical pumps and a fluid pipe network. Okay. Temporary sand. Initially, quartz, uh, Certus Quartz seeds require sand to be crafted. However, for a full automation, it might be uh, worthwhile to bypass that requirement with the help of mechanical crafters. Huh. Okay, so we're going down the gr um, pure certus quartz. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I was reading all that. And then paint it quartz mixer. And then we have a second coated layer, which then we're going to create our precision mechanism. Okay. Wow, there is going to be a lot more. <laughs> I think we're going to do the iron for days next. So we'll need a cobble generator with a drill. And then we're going to need to make gravel. So we need to mill it. So we got to put it through a mill. And then we'll have nuggets. So... I wonder how many nuggets we get. Do we have any? Can we try this out? I'm just kind of curious. Um, that's andesite. Oh, we have some here. Oh, we do have some gravel there. Why don't we take... We can just shove some in here. Let's go... Let's just put one in here. I mean, this should function just the same. We don't have anything in here, and I think this is... Well, it's got gold in it, doesn't it? Oh, it's got gold and copper nuggets. Alright, we'll take that out. Um, That's gravel now. Oh, never mind, that made flint. So we're gonna have to go through two iterations. Um, Let me grab the gravel here. And I think this is probably gonna get Stuck in there, yep. So if we need flint, we can do it that way. Now, if I put gravel in here... Here, oh, I was gonna, just going to do one. Because I just want to kind of see how many, how many we make off of one of these. Oh, wait, that's flint. Right? Did I not read that right? The cobblestone first needs to be milled into gravel. 
Okay, and then wash... Or washing the gravel. Oh, 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 so we need to wash the gravel. Okay, I got this all... I got this all wrong. So we mill the cobblestone. Which should make gravel, right? So that's a mill. So why did I get flint? Or maybe there's a chance to get flint? There's a gravel. There we go. And then we wash it. Oh, I bet there's a chance. Yep, see that one? That wouldn't have anything. Just make sure there's nothing in there. I mean, flint's not bad because we can use the flint for um, other things as well, but... Um, nope, that one turned right into flint. Alright, let's just put a half a stack in there and just see what happens. Because I definitely don't want that. Um, is this one going to teach us how to... No, that's right. So, chapter... So we have to get this to make a brass machine, and then the brass machine allows us to make a whole bunch of stuff. Um, okay, a mechanical arm. Yeah, the brass funnel. So we're going to have to get through this. Nope, again. Are we washing it wrong? Or no, there's an iron nugget. I got eight iron nuggets. So we're going to have a byproduct of both things. Um, so the only issue with that is we can't automatically make iron. <laughs> Not unless we can sort it out. Which kind of sucks, right? Yeah, see, there's an, there's an iron there. Another iron nugget. Okay, well, we're going to have to explore that in the next episode. Um, I think that's pretty much how we're going to have to, to look at things is that there's going to be a chance of things. Um, and it seems like a pretty low chance of, of getting what we want washing here. Yep. Another gravel shoot. Um, does Flint give us anything? Is there like a byproduct of Flint? Uh, three gravel gives us Flint. Okay, so it's a 12% chance. Here we go. And a 25% for flint. So, this isn't a guarantee. Got it. But, that kind of sucks because we need a way to sort it. So, I think we're going to have to build another one of these systems somewhere else. Since this is kind of like full processing, there's no way of actually pulling out items that don't belong. And we can't have we can't have everything going into the mixer because that doesn't work. Right? So maybe we'll have to set up something down here, or maybe we'll just set up another contraption up here somewhere. So but I think I'm gonna call that uh, an episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, glad you guys all joined uh, today. And if you have any comments, any helpful hints um, about the, the game, um, please also give me any ideas about bags. Um, I'm not going to look into it for a couple episodes, but uh, I don't know if there's like some kind of... Um, oh, there's like a toolbox. I, I don't know what these do. Uh, so every in, uh, inventor's dearest companion convention, uh, conventionally holds a large amount of eight different item types. Nearby player can hold the toolbox keybind to access its contents remotely. Okay. So maybe that's what we're going to need to do at some point in time. I don't know. Um, let me know. I'm not going to build this right away, but it looks like it's a very simple thing to produce. And it might help us in the long run. So um, let me know if that's really necessary or what other tools that might be out there that I can use to make things a little bit quicker. I did learn a little 
fun little trick um, while watching uh, another YouTuber. Uh, you can actually create power without having like a waterfall, but it's just a very insignificant amount of power, I think, is using a fan, point it towards a campfire, so over top of the campfire, and the heat will rise and turn the fan, and then that will actually turn you know, um, your gears or whatever. So you can have some kind of movement, um, super simple to make. And, uh, you could place it in a couple different locations. So, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, might try that out at some point in time if we need to, but, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you guys share the video on social media as well as oh, poisonous, um, <laughs> as well as uh, hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.